Hi, uh, in this video we will see how to generate and manage uh, schema markup on the uh, Inlix platform. I have uh, taken as an example the uh, website uh, DixonJones.com who is the CEO of Inlix. So I have taken his uh, personal blog and I have built a, uh, a project within of Inlix of uh, 20 pages. And now we will see how to uh, create the schema markup um, within the pages you have uh, added into your Inlinks project. So the, the first step to uh, apply in order to apply a specific type of schema called about and mentions is to uh, associate the, the your pillar pages or the, the, the corners and content of your uh, project here on Inlinks with their matching topics. And this is done by uh, using the, uh, the target uh, button here under the target topic column. So let's take an example an example here. I can see uh, this page about SEO traps and WordPress. If I click here on targets, the tool will display all the entities that uh, have been recognized by the Inlinks NLP from the content of the uh, of this page. And so the idea here would be to associate the the topic that matches the overall content of the page. So if this is my pillar page about say WordPress, I'm going to associate the, the page with WordPress. I'm going to click on select here. So I have associated this, this page with Word, WordPress. I can uh, try another one, uh, Yahoo Site Explorer Alternatives. If I click on target, I'm going to associate this page with Yahoo. Click on select. Let's try a third one, how to migrate your Twitter handle. If I click on target, we'll associate this with the uh, Twitter. Select. Can, uh, continue uh, with another one here. Uh, this page about search engine optimization topics versus keywords. So I click on target. So let's say this is my pillar page about uh, SEO or search engine optimization. So I'm going to associate this with search engine optimization. So once uh, we associate our pillar pages within an Elix project to their matching topics, as we have done here, we can uh, refresh the, the URL and we will see here that the system uh, already started uh, placing some of the schema markup. So the, the first type, type of schema that uh, Inlinks generate is called about and mentions and we will see this in further details now. Uh, let's say for example this page we have associated with WordPress. I can see under the schema column here that a checked is the, being displayed so uh, which means that a schema has been generated for this page. So if I click on the check here, we will see uh, an example of uh, the about and mentions uh, schema. So the about and mentions schema is uh, essentially breaking down the uh, most important uh, concepts of the page and makes uh, correspondences with their uh, machine Wikipedia topics. So for instance, here we have associated the page with WordPress. It translates in the about schema by placing the, uh, the, the concept of WordPress and indicates to the, the search engine that this is the same thing as this uh, uh, Wikipedia page for WordPress. So the, uh, the, the about part, these are the, uh, the primary uh, concepts of the page. And we have also the other, the secondary part, which is mentions. So these are the secondary mentions of the page, which are also, uh, for which we also do uh, correspondences with their matching Wikipedia pages. For instance, search engine, the same thing as this Wikipedia for uh, Wikipedia page for search engine. Uh, this specific type of schema about and mentions is uh, is useful in order to make the uh, the search engine be better understand the um, the concept of the page or the concepts that we uh, that we uh, use within the uh, content of the page and we also do use wikipedia as a source because we we pretty much know that google does consider a wikipedia and wikidata uh, to be um, a trust uh, trustful or trusted sources for for topics or entities the second type of uh, schema that Inlinks uh, generate is called uh, FEQ schema. And this is uh, placed without associating a page to its uh, topic. For instance, this page about publishing web content. I can see here that uh, a check uh, is displayed under the schema column. If I click on the check here, I can see this specific type of schema named FEQ page. 
and this is generated automatically once the system detects that uh, the content of a page uh, contains or the uh, has two or more questions placed in the H titles. Uh, so it takes the uh, this um, question in the title. It can be in H2, H3, and H4. It places that as the question and the following paragraph as the answer. So just to note that the FEQ page schema is placed automatically without associating, associating a page to its topic. In the uh, schema part here of the tool, uh, we have several options uh, that are available. Uh, we can either switch the schema on off by click of a button here. And from this, the same part of the tool, uh, we have complete control uh, upon the uh, uh, schema markup that is placed by the uh, inlink system. So for instance, uh, in an about and mention schema, we can edit a schema for clicking on edit schema here. We can uh, remove some of the uh, the lines from the uh, mentions or the about part. And we can also add a topic to an uh, about and mention schema by clicking here on uh, add a topic, uh, indicating a name for that topic and also uh, its corresponding uh, page on Wikipedia here and then click on submit. Um, it's it's uh, noteworthy to say that the the schema markup is uh, being injected automatically on the on the on the your web pages within an Inlix project by uh, installing a JavaScript code that is provided by Inlix. So we can see here the part about JavaScript code. If I, if I click on this button here, I can see an example of the JavaScript code. This needs to be installed in the footer of your website in order for the system to place the, the, these two types of schema markup automatic, automatically on the, on the website. So at the end of the, this video, I'd like to highlight some of the uh, important uh, notes about uh, schema generation on Inlinx. So uh, in the Inlinx uh, schema goes live in, uh, in your web pages or the pages added to your Inlinx project, not the whole website, once the JavaScript code uh, is installed and validated. So this, uh, this JavaScript code needs to be installed and validated uh, in order for the system to place this schema automatically. Uh, the second thing about, uh, about and mentions schema is generated once you associate a page to a topic. So about and mentions cannot be placed if you don't associate a page to its topic as we have done here for this page about WordPress, Yahoo, and the other one, Twitter. The FEQ uh, schema is generated automatically uh, without associating, associating a page to a topic. Uh, if the uh, system detect, detects two or more questions placed in H tags, uh, any content of a page. And uh, the last point is that if you'd like to uh, disable uh, FEQ schema on your in Inlix project, you can contact our support team and we can do this um, from the back end. So in order to uh, disable the FEQ schema on your, uh, on your project. So I hope this is a, a useful uh, tutorial video about schema generation on Inlix. Uh, if you have any questions, please do reach out to us on the, uh, on the chat window. I hope this is useful and I hope to see you very soon.